That shoots amazing. I love this gun. Welcome back to Mud Lake Ranch. Today we're here with a freshie. Because there's nothing newer than this right here. This is the SAR 9 SOCOM Compact. This was launched at NRA 2024, so just a couple of weeks ago. This is the sweetest looking gun on the market right now. The styling is just out of this world, and I think that you will agree. The SAR 9 SOCOM C is a striker fired 9mm handgun with a 15 plus 1 capacity if you live in a free state. But I'm in New York, so I get a 10. It comes with two magazines. 15 plus one and I believe the other one is 21 or somewhere around there so you get a, a bonus capacity magazine if you live in a free state or if you're actually in combat so this is brand new as you can see it has not been out of the package and I'm ripping the tags off it for the video um, this handgun has suppressor height sights so um, free states come with a threaded barrel that accommodate most suppressors intended for handguns this is the what you'd say the downsized or little brother of the SAR-9 SOCOM, which is a combat tested nine millimeter handgun that is a full size version of this. And my God, this feels good in my hand. I love this. I have not shot it yet, but I am sure, confident, that this could be the best running gun that we've probably ever had on this channel out of the box. Um, some of the features of the SAR-9 SOCOM, which I just mentioned was suppressor height sights, it has got a very bright front sight, which I would I guess is tritium, maybe not. I will take a glant gander into the book here before we close this video out to make sure. It comes optics ready, the optics plate right there. Just remove that, slap on your optic of choice. It has front si slide sirations and rear slide sirations. Um, up front, they call these cuts in the slide, which we normally just say slide cuts. They call them cooling vents or cooling cuts. Um, to help cool the barrel after successive shots. Um, these guns are intended for use in combat and they are rigorously tested to ensure that they are protecting the folks that are protecting you, um, but, or most likely in foreign countries. Um, it has a flared magwell, which is just absolutely sick and it fits my hand just about perfect. Um, I mean, my pinky's not going below that with a 10 rounder. And I imagine when the 15 rounder probably just sits there just beautifully um, because this is, I believe, locked. Yeah, you could fit 15 in there. That's crazy. Um, I should compare this to something else in concealed carry, but once you get it in your hand, you're not going to want to put another handgun in your hand. It has a steel slide back plate and it has a Picatinny rail with one slot intended for whatever accessory you run up front, most likely a light. Uh, it does have the grip texture in the front above the trigger guard for folks that like to ride up front on that. Um, the trigger guard is ample and it is squared off instead of rounded. Plenty of room for operating this wearing uh, gloves if you're in cold conditions. Side release requires quite a bit of force to get that to release, um, but I'm sure that you can get used to that. Uh, the trigger appears to have a trigger safety, so you cannot engage the trigger unless that center post is pulled. Trigger has quite a bit of take up. The brake is at the wall. The brake is not bad. It is a little spongy, but I mean, you have to be committed to whatever you're gonna shoot. So no accidental discharges with this. Awesome, anyway. Grip texturing on this is phenomenal. It is comfortable and the, it, it, it just feels really nice. Polymer frame has an amazing texture grip. It feels just ridiculously good in the hand and it's just enough texture. It doesn't like uh, bite into you at all. Um, I've had handled some handguns. I won't mention the brands that just dig into you when you grab them. This feels almost soft and still textured, which is crazy. The slide is Cerakoted, and this is considered Special Forces green, and this color scheme is just sick. Slide slightly different. The Cerakote's slightly darker than the frame itself, and then you got this brown accent in the back, which just sets it off, and then the green down here um, for the flared magwell, it's just a little different than that. And they blend together so well, it just is ridiculously nice looking gun. 
Uh, let's get this thing out on the range and we'll run a few some rounds through it. I'll get out my other magazine. Hey, comes with a star sticker, which everybody needs one of those. Your typical lock and your chamber flag to let people know that the gun is not loaded. All right, we'll get this second mag out. Let's see what else is in this bag first. Did I bring my knife over? Sweet. This knife is a Buck Warncliffe blade. I love how short it is, and it's super sharp. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the SAR comes with, sorry about all this extra noise. It comes with extra back plates and side plates, so you can make this grip the size that you want for your hand. But this fits me great right out of the box. So side plates and back plates to adjust the grip to your hand size. The medium size that are on here are perfect for what I'm um, doing. Inside this little thing here is a cleaning kit that SAR provides. It has a bronze brush, nylon brush, and a twisted metal loop for your patches. And the threads on the outside of the container are for use as a handle, which is a cute little gadget there. I do not know what this is, and if you're super smart and want to chime in, go right ahead. I'm going to look it up later, and I'll uh, try to get that into the end of the video before I wrap things up. The ammo we're shooting today is from American Ordnance. They provided all the ammo for this video and more. Uh, American Ordnance is an affiliate partner of Mud Lake Ranch. Visit mudlakeranch.com slash deals. There you'll find a link to American Ordnance, and any purchases attributed to those links may result in me earning commission to feed my family. There's also a whole bunch of other brands that partner with the channel um, for affiliate program. And uh, if you click on those links to shop and anything that you might purchase that you would have bought anyway, will help support this channel in an indirect way. So thank you very much for visiting mudlakeranch.com slash deals. Be sure to check that out. Now we're gonna go get this gun running on the range. Before we get too crazy, let's check that trigger poundage on this thing um, with the Wheeler scale. This scale is new to the channel from Wheeler and I'm still getting the hang of it. I feel like I have to use it upside down just to, for it to feel right in my hand. There we go. Let's try that again. That was a 4.1, no, sorry, four pounds, 11 ounces on that pull. Four pounds, 11.6 ounces on that pull. Four pounds, 15 ounces on that pull. Lining it up with that trigger safety is difficult. 4.62 pounds on that pull. So we're talking like a 4.75, four and three quarter pound on average. And if any of you mathematicians actually added those up, divided and figured it out, God bless you. The uh, Wheeler tools, um, I'm also an affiliate of Wheeler, so they're on that link page of multigranch.com slash deals. I have visitors. All right, so anytime you get a new fire, it's best recommendation is to clean it at least bare minimum, check the bore, uh, run a rip cord through it or something to make sure there's no obstructions. It's best if you do disassemble it, clean it, add lubrication where it belongs, which I've done with this gun, and we'll do a cleaning video on this firearm at a later date. I did find out what that pin punch is for changing out your grips, that little wrench. It's not even in the manual. I have no idea what it's for. Man, that's a smooth shooting gun. I love it. Oh, we had a malfunction. Didn't expect that. Oh, I only loaded two in it. I got distracted because those people, uh, my friends showed up and I only loaded two in that round. So, hey, let's go load these back up. Man, 
That shoots amazing. I love this gun. All right, we're gonna put you on the target so you can see where I'm hitting and we'll get an accuracy test here. All right, we're gonna go for a combat distance. We're going to aim center mass initially. I would say that's not bad. Uh, I'm going to go headshots next. I would say that this thing is on point, baby. I mean, that was not really taking my time. We dazzled that target. These targets are infinite defense targets, reusable, recycled rubber, um, and you just spray paint them to allow you to see your, your impact points. And I've been using these all summer and they're continuing to be a great target for the range um, and low cost. Whereas the paper, if I had done this, I'd have to replace it. Um, but this, I can just hit it with some spray paint and keep going. Um, infinite defense targets. Check them out on motherlakeranch.com slash deals. And uh, if any purchases made using those links that are attributed to your link clicks will um, be applied to my affiliate program. So I'll earn a little bit of commission from your purchases at infinite defense. Final thoughts on the SAR-9 SOCOM C. I just totally smashed my tripod. So if it's a little off kilter, it's because I broke the support arms and the telescoping feature and I clamped it with another mount I had sitting here. So we graded guns on three things. Uh, practicality, uh, this gun is a very affordable option for what it is, um, giving it a, I'm gonna go 8.5. Um, on practicality affordable functional and it's just got all the features that you like the only thing these decorative cuts that are for cooling um, the barrel are something that could allow lint and dirt and debris to get into but they're meant for fast shooting uh, to allow it to cool down and but it's just functionally is amazing it does not have any external safety but in combat situations i don't think you need that or want that um, the color scheme is off the hook, which I'll get to in the coolness factor. Um, accuracy, you just saw. First, out of the box, those shots were on point. I uh, wasn't shooting slow and controlled for accuracy. It was more of a normal pulse to see how I shot, um, kind of how I'd like to shoot at the range, and it was dead on perfect, and it ran flawlessly. So accuracy, I'm going to give it a, a 9 and um, if we had an optic on here, it might have even been better, um, but sometimes they run a little different with an optic. I've had one gun that wouldn't run with an optic because of the weight changed the way the slide ran. And coolness factor, this thing is sick um, from front to back, top to bottom, color scheme, Serico, grip, magwell, everything about this for just being a nine millimeter polymer handgun um, it just fits, feels, looks amazing. I'm going to give this thing, I'm going to go 9.1 on coolness factor. Awesome gun. Thank you to SAR and thank you to American Ordnance Factory for the 9 mil that we used in this video. If you found this video useful, helpful, or interesting, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe.